Hi everyone, so this uh, is first part of the brush series. We're going to do a, a few uh, more series about making our own brushes. Uh, so today we're going to make our own brush uh, and turning that into snow. So first thing first, uh, open your uh, Photoshop. We're going to go up and create a new canvas. Canvas size is 500 by 572. Let's call this snow, but it really doesn't matter at this point. RGB, color profile RGB, 8-bit, everything looks okay. Okay, and then now I'm going to create another layer. Uh, we're going to go up and select the elliptical tool, and we're going to create snow. Hold shift and drag your mouse or your mouse pad, and then let go, release. Now continue holding shift, and we're going to create a smaller one on the opposite side. Okay, now let go. So you should have two of them selected like so. So I'm going to hold shift again, press delete, and then this menu will appear. We're going to select content, we're going to select black. Blending mode is normal, opacity is normal, press OK. Command or Control D to deselect. Okay, so here you have it. We created a uh, pattern for the snow. And now we're going to define this brush. We're going to go up to edit, define brush preset. I'm going to create, call it snow, and I'm going to make it so I know I made that. Uh, 956. So 956 is just for me to know um, snow brush, okay? So you might want to call your your brush something else. Like okay. And that, so now we have the brush. Okay, so if it's not by default selected already, go up to this part here and select your brush. So ECD956 brush. Okay, so I made my own, uh, a few of my own already. Um, you know, so you might want to do that to yourself. And this is kind of similar to bokeh too. So we're going to do a little bokeh next time. See, as you see, I made my own bokeh already. Um, so over here on a empty layer, let's click four layers and then we're going to group them and call it snow. Snow. Okay, and we're going to move those layer under that folder okay so let's make let's first make the black back snow furthest away okay so first thing first is um before we continue to well let's do some for example so if you notice that if you do that there's just line so we're gonna go and edit that okay so we're gonna press this icon here or, um, yeah, just press this icon here, and this brush menu, edit menu will appear. So first thing we need to do is we're going to go, we're going to go and correct, um, or change the, first, let's first change the shape dynamic. So there's three things we're going to, we're going to do that, this jitter to, well, if you notice here, start changing, right? So play with the jitter how you like it. I personally like it 100. Um, and then I like the angle also at 100. You see it's starting to disperse. And then the roundness, I, I like it to be pretty flat and round. So maybe around here, or actually... I like to do that round there, and then the roundness here, kind of like that. Okay, so next I transfer. I want the transfer to be mm, maybe let's keep it there, twenty percent. And uh, this is pen pressure, so if you're using a Wacom or something, you might want to change the pressure of your pen here. Um, 
next we are going to go to scatter. I want it quite scatter and random, so maybe keep it like so. And then come back to, now I want to come back here and spacing. That's too much. There we go. So for this brush, what I did is I asked the software to make it scatter, turn it around so it looks really random. Uh, smooth is, is, I want to smooth and transfer. And if you use Wacom, you can change your uh, pressure, pen pressure here. If you don't, um, it's fine. Okay, so let's, let's do, put one more layer there. So now let's try it again. There you go. So now we created some. So, so these now here, I want it to be the furthest back. So I'm going to go up to filter, blur. I want it to do motion blur. We're going to do motion blur maybe at the angle. Let's see, let's play with the angle. How do we want the direction to snow? I think I'll get up there. That's so it depends. If, if there's a snowstorm, you might want to hire like that. Um, I also create rain like this, right? So I'll make it to sleep so it looks really like it's raining. So we're not doing that right now, we're just trying to keep snow. So let's keep it here, and then we go filter again, blur. Gaussian blur. I really want to make the back, the front to be top, for the back to be quite blurry. So let's keep it there, and then we're going to change the blur effect as we go on. Okay, so that I'm going to send to back, and then now I'm going to do one for the front. But let's delete layers we don't want, so I'm going to delete that layer. That's the front layer, so let's create some more snow on this. Uh, the front layer lens might be a little bit bigger, so let's make it bigger. Okay, so again, we're going to filter, blur, motion blur. So let's keep the angle the same. But I want it maybe a little bit less. Okay. Then go to filter again, blur, rising blur. So I don't want it that blurry. For the front ones. Okay, maybe like here. So this one not this dot on there is really annoying. So I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna go up and mask that. Um which, yeah, we'll do the mask later. That's because I have the change brush. Let's finish that. So I'm gonna do another one in the middle. And again so in the middle to be blur. Oops, I mean do got the wrong blur. Blur. Motion blur. And I want that to be between the two. So now we're just creating you know more um like, so we're creating some points, right? So those are front maybe less blurry, and then those are back more blurry, and then different sizes. So now we do Gaussian blur, and we want it more blurry than the front, and less blurry than the back ones. Okay. 
So let's just create three for this tutorial. You might want to create more. Okay. So now that um, there are a few annoying spots like this one I mentioned, right around her hat. So I masked the hat layer. I'm going to go up and change my brush back to my normal brush. Okay. Part is this one. There's my normal brush. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure black is selected, so I'm masking this guy out. Like this guy there. I don't like this guy there. Again, I'm going to mask all of it. So that's that there. Oops. Click on the wrong one. Make sure you click on the mask layer. And so on and so forth. Okay. So. Oops. Again, make sure you click on the mask layer. Okay. So I kind of like that on the shoulder of the back. So again, so that's how you mix snow. So you might want to play with that a little bit uh, on your own time before this tutorial ends here. So the other thing I want to do personally in this picture, I want to give it a little bit more mood and something um, I personally like doing. Is I like to create a black and white filter and then I put an overlay to give a saturation in my picture. Like so. And then I like for this picture, I like to also create a cooler mood. It's a bit too cool, so I'm going to the blue a little bit. So. There we go. And then. Maybe I like this. Just play with the curves just a little bit. Because I want to play a little bit more moody. Just like that. Okay, so make sure you name your, your filter, uh, your layers, name your global effect, right? And then I'm putting all this in global. So I have those this neatly put in. So all the global effect is there. So again, this is before, this is after with my snow. Okay, so try it in your own time. Uh, get an image that you like, that you want to apply snow to, and just uh, follow the video, follow along. And uh, again, when you're completed, export it as JPEG and upload to the server.